Oh, definitely. I was always an actress. I'd already been in the business. I was on the film commission at the uh, University of Texas. Um, but uh, the casting directors kind of shied away from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They would usually say, you were in what? First, they had to get over the name, the title. <laughs> and so, um, well, my name was on the marquee. And it was with that title. So, yes, they did notice. And there was a lot of controversy. So, yes, it did draw attention. I went out to LA. And um, that's when I got Helter Skelter. And then Toby and Kim came out to LA. And they signed up with Universal. And they. Um, just decided to do what is now known as eating a lot. Well, I knew Toby and Kim were working on something, and we thought it'd be fun to work together again. We wanted a different look for this picture, so um, it, it, the way we, he wanted it to look was how he could change the set and give it its vision. Like in a, being in a fairy tale, with the fog and the yellow lighting, and all the changes in the color, and the spider monkey screaming next to your dressing room. How do you do, man? Oh, just fine, thank you. I played Faye, part of this dysfunctional family played by William Finley, my husband. <laughs> he was wonderful. He's a great actor. He's a lot of fun. And he's terrific to work with. Snoopy! Kyle Richards played my daughter. She was a sweetheart. She was a baby. She was just a really, really nice, nice little girl. They done, done shot up my leg. Didn't, uh, didn't hurt nothing much. Give me a scare. <laughs> Neville was a real interesting character. Neville did stay in character. You gotta hand it to him there. He scared me a lot of times. But it was also really wonderful to work with Carolyn Jones and Stuart Whitman and Mel Farrar. They were just absolutely incredible to work with. And it was just, that was a wonderful experience. I mean, that was really something for me because I grew up seeing those guys. And here I was in a picture with them. It was really exciting. It was a remarkable cast, and a cast of characters. And it, and it, was, a, it was a really nice experience. <laughs> when I told my parents to go see it back in Houston, I didn't realize that the first scene was taken in the, the whorehouse with Carolyn Jones as the madam and Robert England with one of the girls. And there's my parents and the camera's focused on a belt buckle and then it pulls back and there's a line to go with it. Name's Buck. I'm rearing to fuck. And I think they brought their birds club. I thought it was quite quite a surprise. It, it, it really um, took on its own fairy tale quality. <laughs> well, this is a Toby Hooper movie, and it does have his signature on him. And let's face it, Toby has a special quality that makes him the kind of director he is that draws people in. And even if you do miss it the first time, after years later of going in and looking at it, you do find something that makes it unique and special and what people want to see.